And one thing this is going to do, it's going to fix your mini bikes. You know, right now you're... I'm running to my bed. I still haven't created a new bed. I'm just wandering one. They haven't fixed yet uh, your mini bikes just falling through the world. And this is going to fix that. What's up, fellow survivors? This is Cruxon, and you are watching another episode of 7 Days to Die Alpha 16.3. Welcome back. I appreciate you tuning in. Today, we are on day 5. So, we have a lot to do. Uh, kind of what we've been working on is kind of this base, having some issues with roaming hordes. Um, obviously, it's still just flagstone, so that's super bad. Not good to have, so we have to deal with that. We are low on food. What are we going to do on food? I'm a little lost over. We have no food. We have we have really no food. Uh, so that's where we're at today. Um, we do have food surrounding us. Um, we do have our far farm almost started down here. It's it's coming along. It's tiny. It's small. I'm not, not enjoying its size right now. But we planted some stuff because we need food so bad. Um, and uh, I think it's I think this is as far as we're building it. Let me see. What, uh, that's our skylight right there. So basically, uh, one, two, three three four yeah we're going right there one two three four is there and then we're going to go one two three this way so that's as kind of how wide it's going to be um and then we're going to go in either direction about five spaces or something like that so we're going to have a decent sized farm but uh it's coming along it's going super slow so we're going to run outside and get some food um before we get in trouble with like wandering whores and things like that uh, we have a lot to do before horde night it is day five um trees are looking decent they, they're not really growing great um, and we need food so we're just gonna run out and get some food real quick ah, man. I want to get exploring the city so bad it's so cool all right let's see here we spent a lot of time measuring out our base I think that's where we lost most of our time but that's all right this is, we're gonna make this work it's gonna work out just fine so we're gonna see if we could I didn't even see how much space. I kind of have more stuff than I need. That's all right. We're just running out to get some quick food. Possibly grab some more wood. I think we're good on stone. We're decent on stone. We could probably grab stone as we go. But definitely need to grab some more food. Melavera is always good to have. Mainly out here just to grab some easy yucca. Not going to pass up a nest either, though. Um, if we see any animals, that would be ideal. Obviously, we're going to avoid the wolves because we have no luck with wolves. I highly suggest avoiding wolves unless you have a really good opportunity for them, which would be that they're already dead. If you find a dead wolf, skin it for the food. <laughs> wolves are brutal, so uh, just, just avoid them um, at all costs. Unless, you know, hunting rifle helps, get a good shot off them, maybe build a, a little hunting post to kind of uh, prop yourself up on such so that they can't get you. But uh, that's it. the only time I would suggest that. Uh, thought I heard some. That's all right. I do see that vulture flying around. I already saw him. I don't know where he went. But uh, don't really want to mess with him right now either. start eating some of this yucca. Ideally we'll have yucca growing um, and yucca grows at a pretty good rate as you guys know if you saw our tutorial on farming uh, you do get three of them every time you uh, harvest them. So yucca is a pretty good food source. Um, it helps restore stamina. You could turn it into water if you really needed to. So it's pretty good all around. I'm just going to snatch some up here because we are in the desert, so it is plentiful. Alright, we're going to actually grab some of this really quick. How much space do I have? I don't want to lose any resources. I should have emptied it a little bit. This is supposed to be just a, a quick run. Grab some stone here. Uh, really quick, guys. Uh, there, there is increasing talk about Alpha 17, and there isn't a whole lot of information uh, because they, for some reason, want to be more secretive about it because, I don't know, because they're weird. 
Uh, this is an alpha game and a lot of what goes on in an alpha game is because they have people paying them to test their game, essentially. So it seems kind of weird that they're going to be more secretive. But before they would release a big long... Uh, I'm losing stuff. A big long... They would release a big long list of kind of uh, what they're incorporating. Actually, that's valuable. I kind of want to keep that so I don't have to get more. I don't know what to get rid of. Uh, don't need the cons. Uh, I don't know if I have con seed. I grab cons uh, for something, I'm sure. We don't need the fish weights. Uh, I don't really need the lead either. But anyways, they're being really secretive. Before they release a big long list of kind of what they're working on, what they, they I'm missing on the cold too. I don't care. Uh, big long list of kind of what they're working on, what they wanted in the next alpha release. But this time they're kind of just releasing stuff as it's approaching a pretty complete state or stuff that's definitely going to be in the update. Basically, you know, this is what the update is about. We're going to release it. So it's, it's really kind of weird that they're being secretive and not really, you know, getting input from their loyal fan base, really. I mean, it's it's kind of, what am I doing with my life? Um, it's really kind of weird. And I, I don't, I guess I don't know how I completely feel about this strategy it seems a little seems a little strange to me i think we're good on food so we're gonna head back uh but yeah it seems really strange to me uh, so i don't know how you guys feel about it but we do have some news about alpha 17 so we're gonna roll with it um and you know there are some stuff that they haven't said yet so nothing about the zip lines or things like that or or further you know anything concrete about you know changing up roaming hordes which they have mentioned before and things like that so there's nothing really new there but what they have released is you know some new textures they're doing which is always nice to get uh, some visual upgrades to any game things like that more textures in the game and this one particularly just a wallpaper inside of a house um, also a new design for trader Bob along with some concept art for how his trading post will look and I think this is also kind of the beginning of what they're going to do with more like settlements slash uh, raiders slash just other NPC survivors in the world. I think that's going to be a big part of uh, Alpha 17. Another really big thing that they, they announced, and they haven't really gone too much into detail, but they are redoing the v vehicle physics and mechanics and just how vehicles work. And one thing this is going to do, it's going to fix your mini bikes. You know, right now you're I'm running to my bed. I still haven't created a new bed. I'm just wandering one. They haven't fixed yet uh, your mini bikes just falling through the world. And this is going to fix that. And along with redoing these, uh, you know, vehicle physics and mechanics, um, is they're introducing a new vehicle, the bicycle. Um, and I'm hoping that this leads to other future vehicles. I would really like to see a boat. I know a lot of you guys would really like to see a boat. Um, and things like that. Maybe bigger vehicles like a car things like i don't know where my base is i didn't think i'm close uh, things like a car um and things like that where am i, I really i'm a little lost i think i'm right there right yeah uh, like a car and things like that but they are introducing the bicycle i think this is fantastic because i think the bicycle is one of those things that are missing from most of your zombie genre games and movies i mean if the zombie apocalypse hit, the first thing I'm grabbing is a bike. Because you know what a bike does? One, it's quiet. Uh, don't want to attract zombies. And uh, two, it's definitely faster than walking or running and saves on energy. And three, it's super simple. I mean, a, a vehicle is going to break down, but a bicycle is fairly easy to repair or fairly common to get replacement parts for. And you could pretty much build one out of scratch if you really start getting creative but a uh, actual motor vehicle is a little bit more limited um, because you it's it's a more complex machine so a bike is the way to go it's versatile it's quiet you could use it across all sorts of uh, you know terrain and everything so bicycle I'm super excited about this and I hope it's something that you you could, obviously it's gonna be something that you could get very early in the game because bicycles are are very common there's no reason not to have a functioning bicycle on day one and improve your transportation needs it's going to be fantastic i hope to have a little bell to it hopefully a little basket to help carry stuff just like the mini bike um and the works it's going to be fantastic so those are pretty much all they've released so far is just first look at the bicycle 
um, vehicle physics, overhaul, Trader Bob stuff, a uh, little wallpaper. And that's pretty much all I've released, so it's not too far, but it's the vehicle stuff is super exciting. That's the first big thing that that they've announced. And then I, I predict that the next thing is they're really going to tell us what they're going to be doing with... Uh, with settlements and uh, like bandits, and they have there has been talk about it, but nothing really official. Official, but you know, bandits or you know, other more friendly, um, other more friendly NPCs and things like that. So it sounds like they're gonna try to do some some really interesting things. Uh, let's see here. Let's get some of my sod down. So now let me know what you guys think. Let me go. Let me know what you hope to see next. What vehicle are you hoping for? Are you excited about the bicycle? What do you think about the bicycle? Is, would the bicycle be your go-to, uh, be your go-to form of transportation in the zombie apocalypse? You know, I, I've heard someone art try to make argument against it, but you know, it's the best all-around vehicle. Yes, a motor vehicle is far superior in a many in many ways, but in pretty much all situations a bike is better than nothing when you know but a, a motor vehicle it's it's gonna kind of it could get you killed very easily in a lot of situations and a bike is gonna help in all situations pretty much so so let me know what you think um i know boat might be on your list as well that's a super cool one especially for this game so let me know let me know what you guys are thinking i'm trying to plan out my farm here while i talk but but yeah let me know let me know what you guys are most looking forward to. And I'll try to keep you guys up to date because they are starting to ramp up. Because one big thing is, uh, I don't have any one big thing is that they uh, they uh, they hired a lot more people. I need to get some more dirt. They hired a lot more people, some more designers, some more programmers. So they are there are signs that they are ramping up, which is really exciting because you obviously you want to see your your favorite game uh you know develop and this game has been getting better with the, the addition of uh you know electricity and all that stuff so things are starting to look up um and super i think i think alpha 17 is going to be the best alpha yet um alpha 16 was the best alpha yet just because of the electricity and things like that um and i'm super excited to get to that hopefully in this game i'm i'm predicting there's going to be a 16.4 before way before they get to an alpha 17. um so i think we're gonna be able to play this game for a while hopefully they don't break it again like they did with you know alpha 16.3 that was that was kind of uh a bummer in my book but we should be okay i think i think we're gonna be okay for a while all right, so let's just get going on this base because yeah, we are behind on some stuff, and I do I need I need this farm to be a lot bigger than it is. Yeah, I don't know what else to do. I'm just burning up today. Should get some water. That's what I need. Roaming Horde should be here soon. I believe it came mid, maybe a little bit later. It came about midday last time. All right, good. I have some stuff here. I have, uh, I have a bit of food. I needed the yucca so I could plant it too, though. So let's drink some of this. We'll eat some of this so we can save our yucca to plant some of it. Let's do this. We have we have these taken up inventory space. I'm up here. Let's get rid of our iron. Let's get our tool rolling. I think that's gonna be important. All right. So let's get rid of let's get rid of these. I haven't started laying any of them. We're in trouble, guys. Oh, I did lay I did lay some in the corner here. Make sure I had, was supported. So let's go ahead and copy that rotation. We're gonna get this rolling. There we go. I do have raw meat on me even. Because we have to get all this flagstone down and then all this flagstone upgraded um, with spikes around. Uh, 
So we have a lot to do, and I, I don't like being this vulnerable. Like, like you've seen, even a roaming horde is giving us problems right now. Actually, my chest is down here still. That's okay. Da, 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 da. What do I have in here? Take that out, because I should have that. I really need the beer right now. Don't need, don't need. Throw that in a campfire real quick. Don't need the leather. Don't need the iron. Don't need, throw that up there. Da, 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 da. All right. We are good to go. We're gonna get some major work done on this base here, right now. Because we need it. Campfire is a great place to store your stuff. We should get that before the day's end, too. Alright. Some flagstone poles, perfect. Quite a bit of them. This gives us gravel. Desert's definitely great for gravel. We need to cool off anyways. Um, sand. Sand will be very useful for later, especially when we start doing concrete. Um, and if we need to, uh, we'll be able to uh, make glass jars with it and things like that as well. It's a source of your glass. Just getting some extra stamina here and actually I'm gonna check check my Yep, I'm 69 now, that's awesome. I do want sexual transaurus, can't get that one yet. Alright, this will help us go a little bit faster. Good here. Man, we're overheating. We already, we already need more water. Alright, might have to make a water run a little bit sooner. Actually, I'm gonna just make a little bit of yucca juice. Yeah, if I should be good. Yucca juice will uh, it'll help us keep cool a little bit. So that's what that's good for. This desert's gonna be brutal. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely gonna regret this. I know it. That's okay. It's a harsh environment, but uh, we're up for the task. All right. Well, I'm just gonna dig out here. Not gonna make you guys watch. I'll be back in a second. All right, we did some digging, we did some stuff. I'm just going to go out and get some iron. I need just a little bit more iron and I'll have my pickaxe. Hopefully the, the shovel and the pickaxe will be able to establish some kind of mine somewhere. Oh, we're gonna leave him alone. Um, but I need a little bit more iron. Just having the pickaxe will help me uh, just mine whatever's around me easier. So to get stone, so just cinder blocks and things like that. Um, but I need a little bit more iron. It's gonna unload my stuff again. But yeah, just a little bit more iron. Um, but we did do a couple of things. I got some more perks, so got my weapon skill up, made a couple new weapons. 
Uh, gonna need that anyway. Still don't have any arrows just because I've been prioritizing the small stone to go to, you know, building the, the base. Um, and then I laid some more base down, did a little bit more uh, digging out of the the farm, which also gives me this, this, you know some additional stone as well. Um, still haven't seen a wandering horde, so that I really misjudged when that was gonna come. But I uh, should be seeing that any moment now. Hopefully not too close to nighttime. Don't want to be running around at night with them chasing me. That would be a disaster. And don't really want to try defending the base with them either. Because they're going to walk right in. Walk right up my ladder. Uh, my base is not ready to take on any kind of hordes. Um, but uh, yeah. And then I also cracked. When I had made myself a leather poncho. We're in the desert. It's it's just a must. I didn't want to spend the leather on that right now, but uh, it's a must. I had to. I was burning through water too quickly, um, and I need to be able to start putting some kind of armor on and things like that. So my temperature is good now. So uh, we'll see. I'll probably put on some kind of pieces of clothing because I need a little bit better armor, just so that I have a little bit better defense against these zombies and and wolves and things like that. Um, so that's the main reason. It's it's a must in the desert. So I just I finally just went ahead and did it. I was struggling. What am I building? I'm still making a ton of those. Uh, I'll cancel that. That's okay. Um, so it, it's a must in the desert, and I needed it. Ah, zombie! I knew you were over there too. I should have taken care of you sooner. But yeah, we're in the desert, so. Make sure you just go ahead and do it. It's, it's really wasn't worth all the trouble I went through, burning through water and things like that. Just make sure no one else is around. But yeah, so we have the poncho, and I'll probably find some other things to put on just for some extra protection. Uh, but it does take 20 leather, so it kind of kills my leather supply. And, you know, you need leather to make uh, your other leather armor stuff, so... At least until you start making scrap armor, which I definitely don't have the iron yet for that. We are only on day five, so I'm not too worried about that. Just that we are in a pretty harsh environment. Um, and having that leather would help, but... We'll make do. We'll make do. It's getting pretty late and still no horde. Um, I also I need more wood. I think we're gonna have to spend a good day on wood. I did get a little extra wood, um, but I, just, I had to cover up my, uh, my clay picks. I had to dig it out some more, and it was getting to the point where I really didn't want to have my clay pit that exposed because uh, I'm just gonna drop in and just start digging into your base. So I covered it up with wood frames because that's kind of the cheapest option. Um, but still takes up my wood and I don't have a lot of wood yet So we're gonna have to spend a, a day focusing on wood because once I get these flagstone walls up You know then I also have to turn them into cobblestone So I'm gonna need the rock for that, but then I want to put some kind of anti uh, Spider zombie around it too just so I don't have to worry about that at all really on horde night, so um, Just as a quick solution. We'll put up like uh, wood frames around the edges just to prevent the spider zombies. I'm not really worried about having a, you know, a ton of extra materials because uh, it burns for the same amount. So you can just throw it in the fire if you're not going to use it. You really can't waste wood in this game. It is getting late. Where is my wandering horde? And I'd love to get it out here where it won't destroy my base. That'd be cool. Come on, where are you? So once we get back to the base, I'm going to kind of show you kind of what we did already. I already tore through another one of these, huh? Because uh, like I said, I, I did a little bit, and I have a bunch of poles to throw up, so we should be good. And I'd like to get them up soon here. I was hoping that horde would have passed through, because I'm just paranoid about it, because I'm so exposed. So vulnerable. These uh, these first days of the game are some of your... Uh, your uh, most vulnerable points. The game is the game is hard at first in your first days. Get some wood where I can. Um, I also made my uh, bed roll. If you haven't noticed, I am heading towards my bed because I made a new bed. I figured it was about time. This little tree while we're over here. I don't have stamina. 
My, uh, my, my axe is almost gone here. My steel axe. Oh. Zombie went over there. I thought he was over here before. Oh. Yeah, but my steel, steel axe is almost done. Oh, now he's gonna come get us. Still paranoid about that wandering horde. I keep thinking I hear it, I'm looking for it. Like it has to be here soon. It's gonna come at night. Oh, I thought I heard someone else. There he is. gonna destroy me. It's gonna walk right through my base. It's gonna be a mess. Another headshot. Sweet. Sweet. I also want to just stay out here as long as possible just so I don't have a, a horde. A wandering horde. It's so late. Hitting my base because I'm not looking forward to that. Don't have any arrows. Um, yeah, let's suck it up. We just got a little bit of wood. Let's get our arrows. So we have them. And yeah, we're gonna need that many. Did I even finish chopping on a tree? I don't think so. Let's just go finish off that tree. Hello, another zombie. Look at that. That other zombie was right there. One just spawned. So that's your uh Super spawn issue right there. The one we just killed was right there, and we killed them and came back, and there's another one spawned already. Alright, let's kill this one real quick. Oh, miss. But uh, that's, that's one reason that I, I discourage from looting places, just because of the spawn rate. It takes a lot of time as it is clear out buildings because the sleepers and when you throw in the issue of them just spawning on top of you and respawning in the building in two seconds like that it's just like what's the, what's the point this is not worth it anymore still nothing man we can go crazy all right let's get these up nothing i could do gonna have to deal with them when they come I guess we'll figure it out I'll try to go slower at this I've already laid a couple outside because so I try to go too fast and then I get these random blocks on the outside Copy rotation greatest tool ever that they've added Ooh, almost almost missed yeah, that copy rotation, that's a, that's a perfect addition by the fun pimps, so got to give them credit for that. Yeah, man. It's getting late, guys. Where's my wandering horde? Can't do this. It's only day five. I need it now. Can't survive it. Yeah, that's not helping. All right, we also have to figure out how to get into this base. I'm thinking because we're in the desert, I might want to worry about my screamers. So I might build additional uh, crafting area away from here a little bit, just so I don't have screamers constantly attacking here. It'd be a separate place that I could kind of just deal with or run away from to come back here instead of this always getting pummeled. So I haven't decided for sure. Alright. Let's get this. I just want to lay some of these guys real quick. All the defense I could get from the impending wandering horde. I'm gonna get. I'm not gonna have enough though to go around though. You can 
see my little clay pit. Covered it up just so they don't fall in there and start digging. I want to make sure you do that. Especially if you're going to have it so close to your base like we were stuck with. Well, not stuck with. We could have found a different clay source, but we chose to dig it out. Um, but that's okay. We want to dig out this area anyways because I have big plans. Big plans for this city block. This whole city block, I, I kind of want to claim this whole area as my base, so I have big plans to create outer outer walls and eventually outer electrical fences and things like that. So it's going to be pretty sweet. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions. It's never too late to change our plans, at least not yet. I haven't started anything big besides our center horde base here. Now this is going to be kind of the core of our base. So our main defensive position, but we're going to have outer walls and outer traps and haven't made any final decisions with that yet. But uh, I know I know I want it to be big. It's uh I want it designed to, you know, for the long haul. So this is kind of going to be an ongoing project for many days, hopefully. And at least how far we could get before uh, you know they make us reset. Hopefully not until Alpha 17. So hopefully we can get quite a bit done. Definitely, definitely been finding more time to to play with you guys. What? One block short. That's what I get. Ugh. One block. One block short. That's all right. I got some more. A couple of them. There we go. Still no sign of that horde. Yeah, I'm not even sure how I'm gonna get out of get in and out of this place yet. I guess I should think of that. I'm just gonna take a couple of these for now and use these. could very easily come running through here so we're just gonna get inside for now uh, eventually we'll have spikes and all this will be cobblestone um, but yeah so really quick I'll show you the inside and then we'll wrap it up so just kind of dug out some more uh, ooh, my corn's almost done uh, dug out some more laid a little bit more sod it's not it's not all uh, 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 tilled yet but so the farm's gonna go that deep or at least that wide and yeah, that deep, and then we'll extend it to either side a bit more. So at least that's all dug out. We'll just have to lay the side in there. Um, and then, of course, you saw the work we've been doing on our walls. Nothing else really, really changed except we, you know, our clay pit and things like that. Um, so it's only we're only going on to day six right now. Uh, so we're, I think I think we're in pretty good shape overall. That wandering horde is going to hit me in the middle of the night for sure. Um, but yeah. We're in decent shape. I mean, we have our, our uh, walls pretty much done. I'm um, probably going to cap it with a uh, cobblestone uh, perimeter. And then on that, we'll add, like, uh, wood frames or, like, wood, wood frame ramps or something like that around the edge. I don't think that's the final design I want to use, so I'm just going to use the frames for now. But that'll keep, that'll keep the the spider zombies away and I don't predict we're going to have any cop zombies or anything like that so that's pretty much it for, for this episode we got a lot of good work done on the base um, made some progress we have a uh, new poncho which hopefully next episode we could finally start getting a little bit of armor on us it's just it's so hot in this desert it just is but our temperature is good now uh, da -da 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 -da. temperature 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 feels like yeah 74 and it's, well it's getting cold at night here but we haven't seen any temperature indication since we put the poncho on, so get some extra armor on. So we'll be good to go. So next episode will be day six. Um, Got to get some wood for a lot of the, uh, 
the work we need to do on this base, and obviously a lot more uh, uh, cobblestone. So we can upgrade cobblestone rocks, so we can upgrade this into cobblestone, and then get some wood spikes to defend us. And we're in pretty good shape here, so we're good to go. So hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you liked it, go ahead and smash that like button. Please subscribe so you know when the episodes are coming. Uh, next episode is dropping. Go ahead and uh, turn on the little notification bell as well. That will let you know immediately when our episodes drop and you'll get all the notifications. Um, and comment below if you have any questions or suggestions. The space is going to be expansive. Hopefully we have time to do it. We've definitely been getting more episodes and playing a little bit more. Uh, so it's been awesome and I'm glad you guys have been joining me. So stay tuned for the next episode. Hope you guys join me next time. And until next time, keep surviving. This is Cruxon. I'm out.